There are both upsides and downsides to living in today's technology-driven world. On the upside, technology has had an impact in the research and treatment of mental illnesses. Even mental health professionals use modern technology, such as smartphone apps, when working with patients. A lot of these so-called e-health apps are expensive or limited to private use. But we've found five free mental health apps that could help anyone through recovery. Some of these apps focus on tracking your mood or behaviors, while others are aimed at a specific affliction like anxiety or depression. Unless otherwise specified, all apps are available for Apple and Android users. Number one, Dalio Mood Tracking and Micro Diary. This mental health app has a customizable database of activities that you can log. Dalio also lets you customize the names of moods that you can track on a calendar. This calendar is also available to print and color code. You can also create a pin code so that all of your information stays private. A word to the wise, this app may not be for anyone who gets overwhelmed by having too many options, as there are lots of features to customize and keep track of. Number two, Mood Space. Available to Android users only. This app is extremely user-friendly and simple to use. The aesthetics are peaceful yet creative, which gives users a helpful but informal experience. You don't need to create an account to access this app's features, such as the three clouds exercise. Users are instructed to list three good things every day, and push notifications can be set to remind users to complete the daily task. Unfortunately, this app is no longer being actively developed due to a lack of funds, but it is still maintained and updated sporadically. Number three, Pacifica, for stress and anxiety. There are many customizable features on this free app. However, users will need to create an account to access these extensive features. Once registered, users can log their mood as little or as often as they like. The app creates graphs and other infographics based on the information you give, so you can see any patterns that may arise. Number four, calm, meditate, sleep, relax. This mindfulness-centered app helps you focus and relax when you aren't feeling your best. Thorough and high-quality guided meditations help you focus on your breathing or on calming nature sounds. You can strengthen a particular meditation skill through daily exercises as well. Since this is an app that is focused on mindfulness and meditation, it might work best when used in addition to other, more general apps. A note to the viewer, our last app focuses on self-harm recovery, which may be a sensitive subject for some viewers. Number five, Calm Harm. This mental health app is specifically aimed at helping to manage any urges to self-harm. It's focused on the idea that the urge to self-harm comes in waves. Sometimes it rises, and other times it subsides. This app aims to give you the tools to help you successfully ride the wave. When a user feels the urge to self-harm, they can select from a customizable menu of activity categories that range from comfort to release to breathing. And after completing the activity, the user can track progress and create a personalized activity list for the next time the urge arises. While all of these apps give users a unique experience, there is no right or wrong way to give yourself a little extra tech support during recovery. Which app do you want to try? We want to hear from our viewers, so we invite you to let us know what app works best for you.